more meatballs for dinner tonight. Hey, what did I tell you about bothering travelers? Sorry about that. He's totally obsessed with food. That's all right. Prickle bore meatballs, huh? Sounds delicious. They're really super tasty, but Sis says that they used to taste even better. Why is that? We used to get deliveries of fresh, delicious prickle boar meat from the nearby village of a ball. But in the advent three years ago, demons attacked the village, and now it's gone. It's such a tragedy. If they only could have held out for just one more day, I'm sure Lord Artorius would have saved them. Artorius. Right. Our town decided to make a new holiday marking the day that Lord Artorius became the Shepherd. Three years ago, when the Malachim appeared on the Advent, Taliesin was the first town that Lord Artorius saved. We hold great pride at being the city where humanity first struck back against the demons. That explains why you'd celebrate his ascension, but wasn't a ball closer to his heart? You may be right about that. Not being able to save a ball was horrible agony for Lord Artorius. Even though he killed the demons that destroyed the village, he couldn't bring back the lives that had been lost. If Lord Artorius had gone to a ball first, our city might have been destroyed instead. We won't forget the tragedy that befell a ball. That's the other purpose of this holiday. Remembrance. That's right. Lives lost can never be brought back. Excuse me. My partner and I here would like to put on a comedy show, if it's possible. Ah. Not often you run into someone with a real fire in their eyes. All right. Show me what you got. With pleasure. Eleanor, I'm impressed. I didn't know you had this sort of initiative. You just have to do what you have to do, right? Besides, if we pull this off, it could be our chance to get closer to Modulu. Did you say Modulu? I haven't seen her recently, but she seems to be making a name for herself in Logris. Yeah, her dances are really beautiful. Do you know her? I do. Her and her teacher, Valta. Now, I'm not saying Majalu isn't great, but Valta was utterly sublime. I worry about him pushing Majalu so much, to be honest. He's never been one to accept compromise in his art. Huh. I didn't know that. We don't have time to stop and feel bad for our rivals. Did you memorize the script? Of course I did. And I won't tolerate any slip-ups from you either. <laughs> Hearing that just makes me more motivated. Well, let's get going. We've got a show to put on. Hi there! Thanks for having us again! The Bienfu Keepers! Magic and Jam! Whoa, back it up. Again? If we're supposed to be regulars here, then why does everyone look like they've never heard of Bianfu? And what's with this magic Azam stuff? Is that some kind of spell? Ugh, gosh, it's really been getting cold here lately. Are you just going to ignore my questions? What does it matter? Aren't you too cold to worry about things like that? Does this feel summery to you? I can be cold and ask you questions at the same time. Actually, it's rather cold. See? I said it was cold! In fact, I've been so cold lately I even set fire to my clothes! Is 
Isn't that going too far? Well, that's how cold I was. In fact, that wasn't enough, so I set the house on fire too! Your house? Why would you do that? Oh, don't worry. It doesn't bother me at all. And who said it was my house? The one I set on fire was yours. <sighs> that's a crime, you know. Huh? What's wrong? That's not in the script. Arson is a serious crime. Well, yes, but... In the script, the punchline was supposed to be... But when I saw how much it would cost to replace them, I got the chills. Yeah, but I got into the moment and thought I could ad-lib something better. You're advocating something morally abhorrent. Change it back. What's the big deal? You're getting worked up over a joke. Crime is not a joke. Even speaking as a normal citizen, I can't condone speech that promotes such a horrifically antisocial act. Oh, now you've got me all mad. I give up for good. No, it's bad. I said I give up for good. No, it's bad. <laughs> My deepest apologies for putting on an act about something so terrible today, sir. Well, the whole thing was meant to be about morals anyway, so... How did we do? Can I just ask you one question? Are you for real? Yes, I am. I should have known. Wow, the weather's just swell. It's something I've said every day for three months now. Huh? But wasn't there just a heavy fog? Nope. Never seen a wisp of fog in this village. It's been sunny so long, I think I might dry up. That means that fog was just another of Melchior's illusions. Seems that way.
Is one of them off-limit Class 4 islands that folks call Serpent Isle. Place has been overrun with snakes since forever. I hate the things, so it sounds like hell to me. But I've heard there's a woman who actually lives there. Whatever for? Why would anyone want to live in a place like that? I know, it's mighty strange. Place supposedly is crawling with demons, too. Last time I was in the area, I checked it out. Kept my distance, of course. Use me spyglass. And? Was she there? Aye, she was. Except she looked like a snake herself. I mean, she was human up top, but her face was a weird color, and her lower half was all slithery and wiggly. Ugh. Creep me out. A snake woman, huh? Even worse, looked like you couldn't swing a cat's without hitting a snake. <sighs> Just the thought of it keeps me awake at night. You should have a stiff drink and get some sleep before you pass out on deck. I'll tell Benwick to give you an extra ration. Wow. Uh, thanks a lot, first mate. I appreciate it. <laughs> I ought to pester him for some of that aged reserve he keeps hidden away.
Welcome back. Did you find the Therian? Yeah. We're bringing these two back to Titania. Dogs? Look, lizards, no problem. Walking hunks of armor I can deal with, but dogs on my ship? You're not a dog person. I was, uh, bit by one when I was a kid. Then you've got nothing to worry about. If they're biting anyone on this ship, it'll be me. Uh, are you okay, Velvet? Oh, sure. They're just dogs. No, I mean, in general. <sighs> Fine, they can come aboard. I'll take us back to Titania. We have to take good care of Orthy and Russ. That's on you. They won't let me near. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, what do you expect? You only killed their master. Don't worry. I'll take responsibility. You mustn't! They're quite vicious, you know. I just asked them if they wanted to be friends, and they suddenly bit me! I'm sure you said something to irritate them, like, I'll make you my minions! You had it coming. She... she knows! But you have Therians to find, Lafayette. You won't be able to look after them all the time. I suppose... What should I do? You could ask Kamoana and Medissa. Kamoana said she once had a dog. Even if they get a little rowdy, Medissa will be around to keep them safe. That's a good idea. I'll go ask them. Thanks. We can't be killing off Therians. Besides, they remind me of Nico. Velvet. You want a pet dog, Luffy said? You should go to the Abbey then. Why the Abbey? Because the place is full of the Shepherd's lap dog. And get it? Lap dogs! Yeah, I get it. We can do this! Oh, 
Arise! Ascending! Angel! How's that not good? Let's blow them! No escape! I devoured them again. No, don't. So, you said your little brother made this copy. He could read the ancient tongue. That's amazing. Luffy was different from most other kids. He read books a lot because his body was so weak. He studied all the time, so that he could be ready to travel the world one day. Which was kind of funny, considering he'd hide in my bed whenever he had a nightmare. Really? But, I don't care that he got scared. I just wanted him to live. That's why I... have to... Velvet! I'll devour as much as it takes. I will have... vengeance. Velvet! Done. The art is attuned to you. Thank you. This time I'll make sure to finish what I set out to do. I've gotta say, I didn't think you had it in you, Oscar. I don't believe I asked for your opinion. Lord Artorius! Go back outside, Teresa. We'll see you when we're done. Are the rumors true? Are you using that experimental art on Oscar? It is true. Oh, 
I was under the impression it was still incomplete, sir. Yep. There's still a potentially fatal weakness for its channeler. We've taken the theory as far as it will go. The next step is to learn its control and actual practice. Don't tell me you intend to test it against that Therian! Please, let me do it. I should be the one, not him! You are not strong enough. Th then at least let me back him up! So you can take the enemy out before Oscar uses the art? A noble plan, but I'm afraid it'd mess everything up. How so? It was my idea to volunteer, sister. I failed at Titania, and allowed the Therian to be stolen from Palamedes. I need to atone for my mistakes. Then let me come with you. I have different orders for you. Teresa Linares. You are hereby relieved of your duties as an exorcist, and are to return your Moloch. Relieved of duty? Why? For our plans to be realized, we require an especially strong Moloch. We've analyzed your Moloch's dormant abilities, and he is of considerable power, on the same level as the young Moloch who betrayed us for the enemy. Simply put, you just don't got what it takes to handle him, sweetheart. This is all over. I'd love to have some of your homemade cooking again, sister. I could go for that quiche you used to make. How can you talk of that right now? Lord Artorius. I know what you're going to ask. Yes, Oscar, when you fulfill your mission, I will make Teresa an exorcist again. Oscar. Are you doing this for... Don't worry about me. I'd go to the ends of the earth and back for a plate of your delicious quiche. Velvet. You've been out for three days. Then that's three days wasted. What's the situation? Well, let's see. For one thing, Grimoire's been deciphering that ancient book. She says that this new copy is complete. All the pages we were missing are there. As for the dogs, Kamawana's taken a real shine to them. All right then. Now we just need to find that last Therian. Velvet, no! I said take it easy. Seriously. Oh, hold on. Have you not had anything to eat? Um, well, I just thought, since you hadn't either... Are you serious? Why would you do a full thing like that? You'll die if you don't eat. Actually, I... He won't die if he doesn't eat. Malakim don't actually depend on food for sustenance. If they do eat, it's only as a quirky hobby. All right, if you're sure. 
If you feel like going hungry, it's your life. But there's no sense in doing it on my account. Huh. Good to see you're feeling better again. As you probably noticed, we made it back to Titania already. Sorry to keep you all waiting on me. Get everyone together. We meet now. <sighs> well, that could have gone better. I just... wanted to better understand the hardships Velvet's suffering through. It seems unfair for her to bear all of it alone. Hmm. Well, she's... how can I put it? A very straightforward kind of person. But nothing gets under her skin like a clumsy display of sympathy. What should I do about her then? For now, just get something in your tummy. Any good warrior knows, you eat when you have the chance. Even Malakim have more strength on a full stomach than an empty one, don't they? Yeah. It's true, food will fill an empty stomach. But what is there to fill an empty heart, I wonder?